Tuesday. I'm going to break down the Nordic um, hamstring curl is what we call it. There's a couple different names for it. But we're going to go over a couple things and look at the applicability to speed work, sprinting, and lifting weights. Okay, Because I see this move uh, performed in a couple different ways. Um, it's important to remember you need to have insight on why you're performing the movement. Uh, there might be some people on here that will argue for what I'm going to speak against today, uh, but they might be using this for a different reason. Okay, so uh, in order to capture your curl, you got a pad. This you can have your friends hold your feet instead of using a support. This is just a nice way to do it. Okay, see so a lock in. We always look for. We always look for a dorsiflexion of the foot, so I'd like to see the toes underneath rather than pushed out. Okay, we want to train that position, that dorsiflex position. Now, what I see really often in these on the internet and in gyms is an anterior pelvic tilt. So when they're going down, and there's a reason for this, it makes it easier. Okay, so if I pop my hips back and out like an Instagram booty, and you'll see here I have a big arch in my back and my butt's high in the air, this is going to be easier to lower, slow, and control, um, but it's not necessarily going to have carryover. That's, that's actually the position we want to get away from in our lifting, A. We want to be in a nice stack position while we're lifting. We want our torso and pelvis to be in, in a relatively same plane, okay? So imagine this was a bucket of water. If you feel like your hips are popping up, pushing back, and there was water spilling out the front, that's incorrect. We want to get away from that. Again. Not only lifting, but sprinting. Okay, sprinting technique. The drills we do in here, it's pretty apparent to see who is driven by pushing their knees back into anterior pelvic tilt, which will make you uh, in your sprinting and other work more hamstring dominant rather than firing correctly, which would be glute and then hamstring. So what I want you to do on these and any movement you're, you're trying to train in the gym is that hip stack underneath, okay? So we're going to try to pull and squeeze the glutes underneath, and we're going to try to maintain that through the full movement. Okay, this can again carry over to lifting, sprinting. So as I go down, rather than having a big arch on my back or an Instagram booty, butt in the air, common fault. We're going to pull the hips through, load through the glutes, and then use the hamstrings. And it's going to be a lot harder. Okay, so you'll see here. Right there, I already feel like I'm going to fall, okay? But I can feel it a lot more intense in my hamstrings, okay? So, fire the glutes, stack the hips, because we're looking for carryover to our lifting and we're looking for carryover into our sprint and acceleration work. Stack the hips, even if you can't do it as well, you can modify by controlling down as far as you can, keeping the hips under, hips under, hips under, hips under, catching, using your arms, and just fighting for that position. And over time, you can strengthen that position and start to have carryover to your running and your sprinting position rather than having a sagging hip, being hamstring dominant, and not being able to get as much power through the floor. Okay, you can see that position. Okay, so if I'm here, hips back, that position versus a hip through stack tall position, it just looks better, right? Not only does it look better. Everything backs it up to be a better position to create power from, less injury prone, and make sure those glutes are working more powerful, less likely to pull a hamstring, all sorts of things. So that's the Technique Tuesday today. I wanted to stop in the middle of the workout and give you a breakdown. So if you have clients, if you are doing these, you're an athlete, think about getting those hips underneath. And then let me know how it feels. If you notice something different, send me a DM, comment on here. Uh, give us a follow and, and let us know. Could it be Awesome to hear your feedback on implementing that and trying to think about that in pretty much all the lifts you do. Okay, have a great day. Hopefully, this is beneficial. Appreciate you guys. Coach D out.